it's bubbles and welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well um i don't really have much to talk about today i feel like as i've been making more and more like paint with me's and speed paints i find myself repeating the same things over and over again so i don't really know what to say in these videos anymore <laughs> um so i think i'm just gonna give a little um like art life update i guess um because with, with the scart of the, the school year, a lot's been going on. Um, if you don't know, I go to an art school, so I'm studying art, I take like art classes and stuff. Um, and I think that environment, like school art classes, that environment is different than taking like private art lessons or teaching yourself. It's all like a very different experience. Um, I've been going to art school for two years, um, but I've, this is only my second year taking art classes, and I was kind of behind the rest of my peers, so I'm in like a beginning art class right now, even though I'm in my junior year of high school and I'm getting ready to get my portfolios ready for college. It's a little unfortunate, but that's just the way scheduling happens sometimes. Um, yeah. I think a lot of young artists can relate um, to struggling with art classes, especially if you do a lot of work at home or stylized work Because what they're teaching doesn't really line up with what you usually make and it really pushes you outside your comfort zone And it may not seem like a very big issue for me because I am a traditional artist You know, I mostly do portraits, which is what these teachers are looking for However, I still struggle with it. It's funny though because if you go through the YouTube art community, you're always finding people like, my art teacher hates me, she won't let me draw anime, and all this stuff, and I thought it was really stupid, because I was like, well, that's how art class works. However, now, I don't really know. <laughs> For my first project, we had to do a monochrome collage, and collages aren't really my thing, it's more abstract than I am, so I'm kind of, I've been struggling a little bit. And we're finally doing a portrait product, a portrait project, which I'm really excited about because I, I do portraits, that's what I do. But we're doing everything with the graphing method. Um, so it's so, the whole thing's just a little outside my comfort zone, which is okay. And I think that's kind of the point of art school, some may argue. It's, it's kind of like they're trying to teach you things. It's just kind of a struggle. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I didn't have a sketchbook for like three weeks and I just got one. Um, I rely on my sketchbook as a crutch to make art because I can't make art every day like I'm supposed to if I don't have my sketchbook. Having my sketchbook around all the time makes it so easy, especially this year because like two out of five days a week I have a like four hour study hall basically. Um, so I can use that time to draw, which is a really important time for me, and I could get sad when I don't have that time to draw, so it's nice that I have the sketchbook. Um, I'm gonna decorate it soon, I'm gonna do a video on that. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be as elaborate as the last video though, if you saw the last decorating my new sketchbook video. Um, that painting took hours. It came out really nice. I just don't know if I want to make that commitment yet. Especially because I'm already on like the fourth or fifth page of my sketchbook So it might not be a great long-term commitment as I'm getting better at drawing I can sketch better consistently um, So a sketchbook that would normally take six months to fill is now taking four or five Which is a good thing um, However, I think putting all that energy into a sketchbook doesn't make as much sense anymore um, Especially with like how expensive they are. I don't know I'm very picky about my paper. It needs to feel nice on my hands and feel nice on my on my brush and it needs to feel nice on my colored pencils. And if it doesn't fit those requirements, I can't draw on it. So I've kind of been in a rut with my sketchbooks. I've been buying the same exact one the past two, three times. I really like it though. I just feel bad because it's a mixed media book. Um, so this is like $25, $30, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is the first painting in it, even though there's like five artworks in there. And so I feel like I'm wasting paper if I'm not painting in it, if I'm just using graphite. And so 
this is why I did a watercolor painting actually. It wasn't because I wanted to do a watercolor painting, but I felt like if I didn't do a painting or do something with mixed media or something that was wet, I would be wasting my money. <laughs> um, there's two solutions to this. Um, don't buy as expensive sketchbooks, which isn't gonna happen, unfortunately, because that's just the way I am. Or not sketching and instead doing stop sketching with graphite and start sketching with watercolor instead which i used to do a lot more i think it's very freeing and it makes some really cool pieces but it also makes a lot of really ugly muddy pieces and after my last sketchbook tour got so many views i'm more self-conscious about what i'm putting in this book because i know if i do something stupid a thousand people are gonna see it which, like, I don't mind. Like, I don't mind it. I like sharing my art. But I, I have to be more intentional about what goes in here. Um, it's a good feeling, though. I was very proud of my last sketchbook. I saw so many people were watching it, and I felt really giddy on the inside. Because all of my other uh, larger videos are tutorials. Which is fine. But I don't... It doesn't feel as personal. Or like I earned it when I do tutorial. Rather when people are just coming to see my art. Like previously mentioned, I'm having a difficult time figuring out what to talk about in my videos, so I've been thinking about making a shift to commentary, however, I don't know, the art community, like commentary niche, is a little bit toxic and I don't know if I want to do that, and I don't really know if I'd fit in with that, um, that crowd very well. <laughs> so if you have any video ideas or discussion topics, I would love to hear them in the comments. I just can't really figure out what to talk about anymore because my process isn't really that interesting or in depth. I haven't really gotten my watercolor or acrylic process down to a science yet. So I feel like it would be a little, I don't know, cocky or naive or just a little ridiculous to try to share what my technique is when my technique would be completely different in two months. Um, Cause what I do is mostly based off of what other artists are doing. Yeah. I feel like currently my niche is really boring and not super engaging. Um, I know that there's lots of other traditional artists that do this format of video and get lots of views, but I don't really think, like I get why people watch them. My friends like watching my videos because they help them sleep or relax and stuff like that. But I want to have more engaging videos. I just find that difficult to do. So if anybody has any video ideas or wants to collab, I'm open to all that. Um, yeah, all my DMs and comments are open, so feel free to do that. Honestly, as an artist at my stage, I find Paint With Me is a little bit boring and dull. Um, especially when there isn't any like interesting voiceover or like interesting commentary. So I think it would, it's hypocritical of me to expect other people to watch my videos and enjoy them a bunch when even I wouldn't enjoy my own videos. Um, uh, growing is difficult and finding what I'm going to do is difficult because my channel is a little all over the place. Um, yeah, we gotta we got figure this one out. The moth wasn't really a pertinent piece of this. I just sketched it at school before I even did the face. So, I don't think the moth is a good part of this composition. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next week. I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribed.